Hey, Miss Yo, it's good to see you guys. Uh, we are gonna be doing just a real short update. And so, uh, a few things. First of all, uh, this is the second week of Advent that we're in. And if you're not able to gather this week because you're waiting on a COVID test, you're not feeling well, or somebody in your household is sick, or uh, you don't feel comfortable with the COVID numbers, there's lots of reasons. Uh, I would encourage you to take advantage of one of our other two ways of being uh, together as a family this Advent. The first way is that we will be having an online liturgy that's available. And so this is a chance for you to gather with maybe just your household or a few friends that are in your MC or people in your circle and be able to process the same text that we are together as a family. And uh, this is a way that we can join together in studying Isaiah 40 together and we can be praying the same prayers and be processing together just localized in homes. Many of you are fully equipped to do that. Uh, and so feel free if that's where the Spirit's leading you and you feel like that's more comfortable right now. You are absolutely welcome and empowered. That'll be right on our homepage for you to enjoy. Uh, the second thing is that we'll be gathering online and making that service available on Facebook Live. So 4.30, right around there, you guys know us, 4.30-ish, uh, you'll have that gathering go live and that's a chance for you to gather with us. And I would strongly encourage if that's what you're doing that you watch at the same time that the rest of the Missio family is experiencing these things and involved in the online chat, not just so that we boost some kind of number or have a certain amount of viewers on there, but because experiencing this together is something that is powerful. And you being a part of the online dialogue with Josh and Angela as they uh, coordinate that is just something that's really good um, and it's something that will actually enhance your experience as you are gathered together with believers, even though it's digitally. It's not the same, but it's still good. Uh, and so you're invited there. The other announcement I had was that we are going to be doing an Advent offering again this year. So each year we pick a global gospel emphasis where we can be a part of seeing the good news expand beyond our own city and our own local context into the world somewhere. And so this year we're going to be partnering with a few men and women that are church planters in Ecuador. Uh, and what their need is that they said we would love it if we could get some pack rafts uh, to get a little further into the jungle than where we've been able to go. It will allow us to bring equipping supplies, medical supplies, and then also just being able to not have to rely on uh, methods of transportation that we leave on the shore, but can pack them up. So pack rafts weigh, I don't know, under 10 pounds. You can put them in your backpack, but still are super helpful for gathering and going down rivers. And they're super reliable. Uh, it's a fun sport, try it sometime. But we're gonna be looking to buy some pack rafts, two of them for these uh, men and women to get a little bit further in the jungle and equip uh, their friends and their neighbors in their country to being able to be exposed to the good news of Jesus, which is something we'd love to be a part of. So we need right around four grand. If you wanna be a part of that, you can go on our website under Fund the Mission, uh, just click the Global Mission link for Mesa or write a check and just put Global Mission on that and we'll make sure it gets to that fund we're collecting for the next month. So end of December, we'll put that money together and see what we have. Uh, Hope you guys are doing well. If you do have any questions, please, please, please feel free to reach out and let me know. Uh, I would love to talk with you, uh, whether it's uh, digitally on Zoom or getting a coffee. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Adios.